And new tonight, stories of heroism at that fire. A Denver man helped drag injured construction workers to safety. Now, Liz Gillardi is live tonight. Liz, that man says his actions were nothing compared to the selflessness he witnessed. Shannon, the man we talked to was hesitant to share his story because he said that he witnessed those acts of heroism and it's really an injured construction worker who likely saved someone's life. Before this fire grew out of control. I witnessed several people jump from second and third story windows. Riding his bike on 18th, John Rafe saw flames. He stopped. And I heard a guy say, help me. He looked over and saw two construction workers. One was unconscious, the other seriously injured. And the one guy who said, help me, was clearly severely injured and he was trying his best to drag his unconscious buddy away from the building. John says that man, injured, trying to drag another man, is the real hero. He just stepped in to help. Together, they pulled him to what he thought was a safe distance. Within minutes, the building was engulfed in flames. He ran to get police, the fire raging. And so this unconscious guy and his buddy who was severely injured, who was watching over him, actually was somehow able to get the guy further away from the building, once again, essentially saving his life. When John returned, frantic, trying to find help, get it, get it. Yeah, yeah. other bystanders broke down a fence, trying to reach the men, finally getting them to safety. He says the injured man did not leave his friend's side. That's the story he once told, a story that could have had a very different outcome if no one stepped in. It was probably the most brave, heroic thing I've ever seen or possibly will see. Um, and without a doubt save the guy's life. Just incredible to hear those stories. John doesn't know who these men are, how they're doing, but he's hoping, as are we, that they're okay. Reporting live, Liz Gillardi, Denver 7. Liz Gillardi with the stories of the heroes in hard hats. Thank you, Liz.